So, this is a video display for my Marble Pops. I have a bajillion. This is the most I have of any series. Not to mention the 10 inch ones I have right next to me. I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 10 inch pops for marble and then one six inch like scene um so i'm going to be breaking this review into probably two parts or maybe three i think i'm going to do the 10 inches now then all the mcu characters and then well all of the like avengers characters and then all of the x-men characters maybe i might split them up i'm not sure but for right now, it's definitely just going to be the 10 inches. So, to start with a Walmart exclusive iron hammer. Let me take them out and show you. So, the iron hammer is number 866. It's from Infinity, Ra Infinity Wraps. And he is fucking cute. Look at him. I personally do not know the character. I don't know it. The only reason I did get him was because he was a Walmart exclusive and $16.99 on sale. The original price being like $40, I think. So, got him. Listen to the head. And if you've ever seen any of my other reviews before I deleted everything on my account because I went through a depression really bad, I hate bobbleheads. But all Marvel characters are bobbleheads. But they drive me crazy. I do love this hammer though. Like you can see the little details on it. Um, and then his background. I'm curious. Out of box collectors. Do you prop the background up? Or do you just leave it in the box? But alright. Next up is Deadpool. So Deadpool is number 543. This is his background. It's just the Deadpool symbols over and over again. Um, and then this is the Deadpool. Again, bobblehead. But all Marvel pops are bobbleheads. They're so heavy. I love that. And especially because the heaviness on the bottom makes them sturdy. The bobblehead makes them light on top, so they stand really well. But again, I try to keep them in box as much as I can. Ooh, I love it. I really wish they would do a 10-inch Colossus because of how big he is in the movies. It would look super cool to see him as a 10-inch. And speak of Colossus, he is right here. But next up is Venom. Oh, real fast. Uh, this Deadpool is a special edition. Don't know what's special, like where, why it's special, like if it's a rare or something, but it's special edition. So I said next up is Venom, but it's not. It's Carnage. My brain totally forgot that it's not Venom, it's Carnage. But it's from Venom, let there be Carnage, and it's a Walmart exclusive. Um, I do know there is a 10-inch Venom. I didn't trust it <laughs> on Walmart it wasn't from a Walmart like it wasn't from Walmart itself it was from another seller it was a 10 inch Venom it had wings and it had a stand I tried looking it up and the only ones I found had a really bit of review saying if they were custom made like ho like mm -hmm. like from someone not from the actual Funko Cup pops and I was just like I don't trust it and I wasn't gonna spend $60 or something that wasn't officially Funko, you know? So yeah, let me open him and I'll show you what he looks like. Now he is number 890. Oof, cardboard scraped. 890, his background is pretty much black with like some gray markings on it. Nothing fancy. And Carnage. The thing I love most about him is he actually does look very slimy. The way I picture Venom and Carnage to be if you were to touch them. Booty cheeks. Sorry. Same with the Demogorgon. I find it funny that they did booty cheeks. I don't know why. The teeth look sharp. They're not sharp, but like, they're sharp, you know? Um, the tongue. The tongue is so beautifully gross. The eyes, like, 
this is such a perfect representation of carnage and even the the muscles like i wish i wish they should do two 10 inches one venom one carnage half face cletus half face carnage half face eddie half face um venom i think that would be so fucking amazing especially because like that would be such a fucking detailed doll you know anyway um i got oh too hard too hard sorry bud I got through my left for 10 inches and then the 6 inch. Now, this is Zombie the Thing. This is not the What If Zombies. This is a completely different set of zombies. I do have some of the What If Zombies and I do have some of these zombies. If you see on the wall, they're all mixed in. Um, but, so from, he is a 2020 Summer Convention Limited Exclusive. I did get him from the original Funko website for $24. He was on sale. They had bumped other dolls up to 40, 10 inch wise, and I got him for 24. So I was very happy about that. From this set, I have everyone except the zombie Black Panther. I did not know that he was like, I did not know that they didn't have him in the normal standard size pops. Which is pretty cool, I guess, because he's, like, exclusive. Let me open him up, and he is 665. Wait, so is the, Who's 666? Dude. Who's 666? Oh, he's... They don't have him. I gotta find out who's 666 in Pop Dolls. Here is his background. Zombie hands. Pretty, pretty simple for a zombie background. Um... This is the first time I'm taking most of these out of box. The only ones I took out of box were just for uh, Instagram pictures. If you don't know this Instagram, it is Shelly's Pops. And the only ones I took out were Venom, Venom, Carnage, Captain America, and Iron Man. And I'll show you those two in a minute. He's really fucking detailed with the arm, the rocks in the body, the bone. And that's really cool too how they split him in zombie wise. The rib cage, like yeah, it looks like bone, but it also looks like grey stone instead of the brown. Like you can actually see it's zombified, you know? It's so awesome. And they did it down to his leg. He definitely feels like the heaviest as well. Um now the bad part is I don't Okay, that's a lie. I know the character. I, however, am not the biggest fan of the, the series of movies or cartoons. No? No? Anyway, yeah. Oh, look at the head detail. He's so cute. But I'm also a huge Marvel fan, so I do love to just have the collection on hand. There's a lot I want and a lot I need. But yeah, so let me pop out the, the last two. First up is Iron Man, and the reason I'm doing Iron Man, Iron Man first is so I can show you the fucked up background. Well, Iron Man is a Walmart exclusive. He is number 948. Um, I did not know that these were 10 inches. Like, I know I bought them as 10 inches, but I didn't know that they had them until I saw them. And they also have a few more zombie 10 inches that I need so fucking bad. But anyway, his background. Do you see the problem? It's creased. Do you know why? they put it at the bottom of the box and slid it all in there was a big gap on the top and i'm like why is the background smaller so when i took him out and saw it it's because they crushed the background but anyway here is the beautiful zombie iron man mr tony stark not rdj because this was the what if series and that wasn't rdj but it'd be 10 times better if it was Come on. In the words of Stan Lee, Robert Downey Jr. was made to be Iron Man. Born to be Iron Man. It's perfect. Like, it's perfect. I love these details. The split in the face. The scars. I find it funny, though, that his hair is perfect. Like, his hair is literally perfect the details you see the skin marks under the neck like the dirty suit i swear this is perfect i love it so
So, next up is Zombie Captain America. And when I said I had 7 10 inch, it's because I have two of him. The other one I got does not have a back border, and I bought two of them by accident. Like, I had gift cards. I ended up buying them on the gift cards and not realizing that I bought two. But it's fine. Um, they are GameStop exclusives. So, yeah. Zombie cap. The ripped up uniform. The, the ribs under the uniform. The bones in the arm, the rips in his suit, the missing shoe. When I showed my goddaughter this because she's getting very big into Funkos as well, the bones in the legs. She's like, why is he missing a shoe? I said, because he's a zombie and like things fall off or things get eaten off. She's like, but his foot is clean. <laughs> Which, I mean, if he's missing a shoe, his, his foot should be more decayed, I think. Um, but yeah, so critics from a 10 year old, his foot should not be as clean as it is without his shoe. So, <laughs> so um, one more pop and it's the six inch scene. So be right back. So the six inch scene is the Deadpool versus Cable scene number 318. The thing I find awesome is the background. It's an actual like scene, like. That is so cool to me. Um, yeah. So I got this one at FYE in Franklin Mills when they were still around. Um, but there was a sale going on, which they had the sale a lot. It was like buy two, get one 30% off or something like that, or 50% off, something like that. I got this, a Daenerys on a dragon pop. And something else I don't remember. But I was pissed because this one, the, the Daenerys one, were the same price. And the, it was a single pop, but it said it was the same price as these. The That one was not the same price. It was standard pop price. And I ended up, like, only saving $2. I was just like, what? But whatever. I don't know. This scene is beautiful. I love like the little stop sign with the Deadpool graffiti on it. Um, Deadpool and Cable fighting. It's one of my favorites. Like Deadpool 2 is literally one of my favorite movies in the Marvel Universe. Both X-Men and Avengers areas. And Netflix because that's a whole category of its own. But yeah. And the heads bobble. He bobbles more than he does. A lot of the Deadpool bobbles don't bobble that well. I don't like bobbles at all. But as you see, I've got more Deadpools than anything. And K uh, where's Cable? Cable's missing. Oh, Cable's right here. But yeah. 314. Oh, 318. Okay. But yeah. The cute little scene. Um... All right. Do you have any? Nope, that's wrong. Do you have any ten inches? Do you have any scenes? Which ones do you have? Which ones do you want? And see, this video only had seven pops in it, and it's already fourteen minutes long. Imagine if I had done this entire series or set in one video, nobody would be watching. But anyway, which ones do you have? Which ones do you want? Please comment, like, or subscribe. And let me know what you think and check out the links in my description for my Instagram, OnlyFans, TikTok, and Etsy. Etsy is where I sell my stickers. I make Ouija boards, um, naughty boudoir stickers, and pics of my animals because they're fucking cute. Anyway, thanks so much for watching.